Swati Krupp and welcome to your Wednesday edition of Tiger Today. The family of a 15-year-old girl who was allegedly raped by more than four men last year in Pangna's Takua Tung district has reportedly faced harassment and threats from members of the local community. A Muslim Foundation representative, Chanon Abdullah, says the girl's 39-year-old mother had been confronted by angry villagers near the safe house where the family was staying. It's been revealed that the girl's parents are rubber tappers who work at night, forcing them to leave her alone at the time when the attacks reportedly took place. Malaysian police have revealed that they've thwarted a plan by a member of the Islamic State-linked Abdullah Shayaf group to attack the closing ceremony of the SEA Games in Kuala Lumpur last week. A 25-year-old Philippine national who'd been involved in fighting, kidnapping and beheading of foreign hostages in the Philippines is the suspect in the ongoing investigation. Malaysian police haven't identified the suspect but say he planned to attack the closing ceremony of the Games as well as an Independence Day parade the following day. No details of the plans have been revealed at this stage. Security officers are tracking fugitive former PM Yingluck Shinawat using the same methods employed in locating the suspect in the bomb attack on the Pra Mong Kun Lao Hospital in May. This according to the Deputy PM and Defence Minister Prawit Wong Suwon. Prawit refused to elaborate further on progress in the Yingluck case, saying that authorities are still linking all the CCTV footage from various sources to figure out exactly what had happened. 13 Thai airlines ordered to halt international flights for failing to meet international regulations will be re-evaluated at the end of the month. The airlines that failed to pass international safety standards include low-cost domestic carriers such as Orient Thai Airlines, Thai Vietjet and Siam Air Transport. The rest are mostly private charter jet and cargo carriers. The specific issues where the airlines fell short haven't been disclosed until they're given a chance to rectify them. The government's asking television broadcasters to return to black and white and air programming about His Majesty Rama 9 for the 20 days leading up to his cremation from October the 1st. For the duration of the funeral rites, the Thai cabinet's asking all channels to cooperate by toning down their programming, both in colour and content. From the 21st to the 24th of October, special programming to honour His Majesty will be shown according to the cabinet edict. Funeral rites will be shown on the 25th of October, then from the 26th to the 29th, the cremation ceremony of King Pumipon Adunyade will be aired. King Pumipon died on October the 13th last year at the age of 88. The Asian region has roughly 100 million more men than women, with the biggest gulfs seen in China and India. According to data from the United Nations World Population Prospect, India's sex ratio stands at 107.6 men per 100 women. In some Asian cultures, couples often kept having children until the first son was born, which is distorting the gender balance. The report says with educational costs rising, people are having fewer children. This, combined with the development of technology for identifying the sex of unborn babies, means the prevalence of male births is becoming more pronounced. And despite the roadworks nearing completion, police are warning motorists heading south on Tepkasatri Road, heading to Phuket Town, past the Bangku underpass, that there will be some disruptions for the rest of this week as they resurface the road from the Muslim Wataya School all the way to the entrance of Supalai Lagoon Condo to today's weather. Down to 26 degrees tonight, a 60% chance of rain. Looking forward to Thursday, they say some scattered thunderstorms, a top of 30 degrees and a 60% chance of rain with more rain on the way for the rest of this week. Well, that's all we've got for Tiger today. Thankfully, an entire bulletin without a crocodile in sight. If you want to check the latest news, you can go to the phuketgazette.net. We'll be back again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.